everybody. My name is Kashmir and this is my male dog, Zeus. Zeus is a giant schnauzer and he's currently a year old, which I'm training him to be a service dog. So if you'd like to follow Zeus's progress, please like and subscribe to the channel and you can watch his progress. So every morning I work on a couple things that he already knows that is called conditioning. So without further ado, you can keep an eye on our current morning routine. So in Zeus's treat bag, I have his regular food mixed in with some salmon treats. And that way it's a surprise every time he gets a treat. So it makes him keep his focus. He's very food driven. Go boy, come here. Zeus, come. Good boy, sit. Sit. Good boy. Hey, pa. Good. Good pa. Yes. Four, five. Oh, good boy. Give you a fancy treat next. You ready? Zeus. Here. Sit. Good. Yes. Good boy. Switch. Good boy. Come closer. Sit. Come. Sit. Good. Center. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Stand. Stand. Good. Walk. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Lay down. Good. Stand up. Good boy. Heel. Good boy. Yes. And a little reward and some loving. The Zeus loves his loving. Get up. Yes, give me hugging. Yes, I love you, boy. I do, I do. You good boy. Yes, you good boy. So that is our morning conditioning because those are his main um, things that he's been learning lately. And then I take him outside because he struggles with the distraction. So I take him out in our yard first to get him used to the cars. And then on some sunny days, I take him to uh, the local town and I attempt walking him on the sidewalk, which there will be future videos showing how I am leash training him because it started off with him pulling me around and it was very embarrassing, but I didn't care for anybody that was watching because I know his progress will get there. So let's move it to outdoors and I will show you what our outdoor training looks like. Yes, you were such a handsome boy. Yes, you were a good boy. <laughs> So next thing, Zeus is very familiar with the routine when I go outside. As soon as I grab my jacket and put my boots on, he knows, wait a minute, mom's going out. So he usually hangs by my side, which he's here right now. So this is my training pouch that I use to put his treats in. I do put them in a Ziploc bag first and that way I don't have crumbs and kind of stinky dog treats sitting at the bottom. I do really love this one. You can buy any one of them online. but. This just helps keeps your hands from constantly having the treats in your hand. So this will just clip on to me. So let me clip this on. And another thing that I have is, let me just pull it around here, an extra leash that's going to go on his harness. And right now I'm just using a tactical harness for him because it has pouches on the side. So if we're out in public or at a park, I put my wallet and my keys in it and he can kind of be my little guard dog to my precious things without having to have a purse in my other hand. I like to have free hands. 
So let's put this on. So on one side I have service dog in training, do not touch. And the other side is ask to pet. So Zeus, stand. Good boy. Now I do like this part because I can give him a great big hug. He likes that. And you just get so excited when you go outside. Okay. Now, with my leash, has a little stretchy bungee cord. This I like to attach to his harness. And that's just extra protection for the leash that I will be attaching to his actual collar. So let's move on to outdoors. I gotta go grab the actual leash that I walk him with and I will meet you outside. Okay, so now we are outside. I left his leash, I think, in the truck, but I've been cleaning everything because spring just started, so I have to go on a little hunt. And I want to be fully transparent with my videos with Zeus because I find a lot of videos online. The dogs are already super well behaved, and it kind of gets discouraging because you think, well, I just took my dog into a store for the first time, and he's pulling around like crazy, and you're expecting them to automatically be obedient. So I want to show his progress in all of my videos and this is one of them because he doesn't have his leash on and once he's a service dog he needs to be able to stand right next to me in a perfect heel position. So as you can see he's already fully pulling on this stretchy cord and he's not at a nice heel. So let's go on a search for his leash. Zeus come heel. He's kind of close. He knows I want him closer, but he doesn't really know what's expected. Zeus, let's go! Come! Good boy! Now, when I first started walking with him, he pulled super, super bad. He really pulled with all his strength, and it took a lot of me to figure out how to kind of support myself in my stance so that I didn't fall on my face really so I've got his leash here so let's put this on and I will set you down in somewhere that is stable I will be right back okay so here I have his leash this is we untangle myself this is a Kong leash it is a lot more durable the main thing about it isn't the brand that I like I just like the fact that it has a handle a lot closer to where you're gonna attach it to his leash and then the handle has kind of nice cushioning so that with a big dog you really have to brace yourself sometimes so it's nice to not have a leash or fabric that's going to dig into your own hands because I don't want calluses I'm a nail tech I don't want to have rough hands that's really poor marketing so to get his leash on I always get him to sit so let's do this Zeus sit so we are outdoors which distractions are huge so he's going to need a little bit of motivation Oh, you're a good boy. Come closer. Yes, good. Sit. Good. Stay. Oh, you're good. Now, Zeus and I have a very strong bond. I give him lots of kisses. He follows me around everywhere. So to hold the leash on a big dog, because like I said, you really need to brace yourself. I put my hand. Oh, little dog is going to say hi to the camera. You going to say hi? Stand. Good boy. Come. Okay. So hand through the loop. And then what I do is, depending on how much uh, leash I want to have as slack, I'm going to grab it with my thumb, wrap it around, and I'm going to hold it with my fingers. This is going to allow me to have a lot more grip without using just my hand as my muscles. And then I'm going to anchor myself like a yoga pose. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to wrap my finger around and I need to brace myself. So, oh, I know there's distractions. So I'm going to pull myself. And it'll look like this. So feet forward, put one foot out, space it. And it's kind of like the little pose. So I am going to pull him using my whole body weight and pull him back. So that muscle lies, I am using my whole core instead of just my arm. I mean, you'll get pretty big biceps pretty quickly and some abs, but 
you need to really protect your own body when you have a heavy dog like this. Zeus, I believe, is about 85 pounds now. So let's get going with some walking training outdoors. All right, Zeus, come here. Pay attention. Zeus. Come with your feet. Look at me. Let's go. Zeus. Hi. Okay, so because he is distracted, what I do with that, there's currently a tractor running in the field next to us, and I also have my daughter outside with our little Maltese on a leash, which is not helping with distractions, but you do what you can on the days that you have. So when he's not listening, I have a command called let's go, which is when he's not walking in the direction I am going, I do a complete 180 turn around and walk in the opposite direction. And that forces him to look up at me and go, wait a minute, are we going to change directions or where are we going so it forces him into a heel so keep watching and I will show you what that looks like All right, let's go. So every time he gets ahead of me, I change directions to force him that I am in charge. Let's go. walk in reverse. So let's see if he can do this while we are outside. Do that. Good boy. Walk. Back. Good boy. Ah, pay attention. Back. Good boy. Forward. Good boy. Back. Forward. Yes. Sit. Good boy. Zeus, let's go. Good boy. Sit. Oh, come over here. Okay. Sit. Yes, you good boy. Yes, you good boy. Yes, you good boy. Okay. So I try to keep his little training sessions around 15 minutes a day. And then because he is also toy driven and loves to play, we end the day playing with his ball. So we play fetch. So because he's training to be a service dog and now I am switching him over to play mode, I take all of my gear off, including his vest, and that turns into he is free. <laughs> he's got his bummy in the screen. That means that he's free to go play and do what he wants. Um, I do focus on his recall, even if he is off vest, because if I am home, I need him to come to me immediately if I call for him. So let's take off his vest, let's play ball, and I will recall every so often and see how he does. Zeus, come. Zeus, let's go.
So he has currently run off because my daughter's in the backyard right now. And he wants to go play with the little doggy. So I have to recall him now. Zeus, come! Now, when you are doing commands, you do have to have a different tone of voice. Come here, boy. Um, that's, so, that's so that you can have a conversation with them and be like, Oh, good boy. You're such a good boy. But then when you switch to a command, it needs to be sharp. He needs to know the difference and you need to get his attention. To them, it's no different than me speaking a different language to you. But when I focus on a certain word, it gets your attention. So if I'm speaking French and I say, Zeus, oh, t'es tellement beau, viens ici, viens. Now you got that one word sharp and got his attention and he knows, oh, okay, come. And he ran off again. I missed my chance. So <laughs> let's do this again. Let me grab his toy. I got to find it. It's somewhere around here. So let's change scenery. Zeus, come. Hi. Good boy. We're going to play. We gotta take your vest off, okay? Let's get your vest off. Okay, so these are his favorite balls. I buy these at the dollar store. They're only like a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty, and they come with a squeak. So I call this his squeaky ball. So when I want him to bring me a toy, I say squeaky. Go get your squeaky. Um, there's so many. I buy so many of these. He hides them, and sometimes they just show up, and I'm like, oh, I don't know where that came from. So let's get his vest off. And get him ready for play mode. <gasps> yes, we go play. We're gonna play. Okay, off, good boy. Okay, you ready? You ready? Oh, you wanna play? Okay, go get it. Oh, you good boy. So we haven't quite mastered the give part yet in training because when we play, he loves to play chase. So if I'm playing. With his ball, I pretty much have to play chase, and this is how he likes to play. Oh, are you ready? Sometimes he gives it, and then I can throw it. Go get it. But he wants me to chase him, so let me go chase him. Oh, you good boy. You good boy. Ooh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh. I go get you. You, you too. You're so goofy. Aja. Aja. Can I get a toy? Can I? Can you bring? Can you throw it? Oh, I go get you. Oh, I almost got you. Oh, I got you. I got you. Hey, dude, come. Aja. Let me throw it. Oh, you good boy. Yes, you good boy. Are you getting tired? Am I tiring you out? You good boy. Yes. So then he starts to slow down, and then I know I have tired him out, and he's having a great time. Oy. Oh, you gave me your ball. You gave me your ball. You want me to throw it again? Okay. Okay, you ready? Oh, you're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. So I have found through our different vocabulary words, he loves it when I call him a good boy. And he knows when he's handsome. And I tell him, you're so handsome. Oh, you're so handsome. And he has a tick on him. Well, that's perfect because I will show you how to remove ticks from a giant schnauzer, which let me tell you, you don't usually find because their hair is so black and thick that it's really hard to find. But I already found two on him this morning and I see one on him again. So let me show you my tick remover tool that I use and you can see how I get it off. Okay, we're gonna go take your tick off. Yeah, you have a bug on. Do you wanna, do you wanna learn to bring? Here, take this, bring. Wait. Bring. Just bring. Bring your fist. So that is a command that I have been working on 
I actually am training him to bring me my slippers in the morning, which has been working, but everything you want them to bring, you have to give them permission to put in their mouth. So right now he's walking around with his vest, being all happy. Zeus, come, bring. And he doesn't like it when I walk away from him. So he comes pretty good for a recall for that. So let's go inside and get the tick remover. Okay. Zeus, come. Let's go. Oh, you're a good boy. Sometimes you just have to give him a couple seconds to register. Do I really have to come? Yeah, mom's not moving. I have to come. Okay, so now that I have him indoors, this is kind of tricky because it's on the back of his ear. If you can see that there. So I have this orange tool that has a little slice in it. I'm just going to let him go here for a minute. And the idea is that you scoop the tick into it and it's going to get caught in this little slice and you use pressure, push it down and pull it out. All right, let's get him back here. Zeus, come. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Okay, sit. Sit. Now, today was the first day that he had a tick on him. So this has kind of been a new training thing for today. So I have to grab a hold, push this in, and there we go. Good boy. Oh, yes, we got it out. And there is the little spidery tick. See if I can get it to focus here. Now what I like to do, sorry guys, I can't get it to focus. <laughs> I always like to check and make sure that the tick can move. And that way I know, oh, it's moving. That way I know that I got it all. It's not focused. Well, you can kind of see the brown lump, but it is moving. And you can either put it in a mason jar and save them in case they get Lyme disease. But I mean, really, the vet can test your dog for Lyme disease anyways, and there's treatments for that. It's not as permanent as it is on a human. <laughs> so I just flush them down the toilet and there's some satisfaction because you can be like, ha, got you. <laughs> and now because he was such a good boy, he gets a little treat. You good boy, Zeus. Oh, yes, you good boy. And he follows me around everywhere. So it's actually pretty easy. Zeus, come. Oh, you good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. Okay, you want to give me a hug? Come. Give me a hug. Oh, I love you for a hug. Oh, I love you. Hi. Yes, you do. You're my good boy. Mm. What do you think? You're a good boy. You're so handsome. Yes, you are. You're handsome. So that is it for today and thank you so much for watching. If there's certain things you would like to see me and the doggy Zeus doing or training or specifying in, leave it in the comments and I will get some ideas on how to include that in my videos. But otherwise, you are going to watch him from this stage forward to him becoming a service dog. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can watch his progress. Good boy. And this is Zeus. Zeus, come. And this is... <laughs> and this is Lily. Okay, leave it, Zeus. Do it so Lily. And this is the little girl that doesn't put up with Zeus. And this is yeah. Zeus who likes to do on You set him in his place, don't you? Yes, you do. Now